these two guys are reaching the home stretch. We're at 15 now. The final group right there. And a challenging pot for Paul Goidos. Yeah, but he's had great pace all week, Peter. He'll need to work on it here. Yeah, downhill left to right, then right to left. Go. It's absolutely. Oh. Man can read greens. with the, the line and it's telling us aim point is telling us it is nine feet of break speedy greens the slopes are very much exaggerated McCarran, i think he'd run to the next team if you offered him a par this for a birdie Right, you've got to get the speed right. Oh, no surprise, just <laughs> clear the mind. Yeah, very you, sure of what you're trying to do. You can only see eight feet, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a tweak more. It's tough to believe, isn't it? It all looks more like that slope behind his head would make well, more of an impact. He's up over to the top of a ridge, and oh, then this could be good. Go, stay up. Oh, it's just. Didn't hit it firm enough to get up to the top of the ridge to get to the, the right spot to trickle down the hill and work for his par. Well, we have our trusty friend here, Golf Channel's Aim Point, presented by Fidelity to show you the way. This is two feet, ten inches of break, right to left here for the defending champion. Oh, I guess Rory knows how to read these greens. Yeah <laughs> Look at that green line all the way. Okay, welcome to the second of Aimpoint Fundamental Clinics in Australia. Uh, many thanks to Stuart for hosting us today, and Stephen Giuliano, who we trained last year in Orlando, and it's because of him this has now come to Australia. So what we're here to do is we're here to do a green reading clinic, and we're going to teach you how to predict break on any green, any golf course, anywhere in the world. We're going to unlock some secrets of the greens, and we're going to give you a chart that's going to give you the break in centimetres. Okay, Aimpoint was founded by Mark Sweeney. Mark's going to tell us a little bit about how he came to do it and how he took his technology from the television and put it into this chart and then we're going to get started nice and quickly. Okay? Yep. All right, thanks for coming. Um, just a very quick background. All this was developed out of the TV product. So basically I'd written a software program that predicts the break <laughs> on any real golf green and that's what you see on TV. And what happened is after doing this for several years, you start realizing there's very clear patterns to, to break. There's very clear thing patterns under the green that are invisible to you now, but once you understand them, it makes green reading very simple and very straightforward. And so I've spent two or three years now just developing the teaching program, um, refining the concepts, figuring out how to teach it, how to make it simple, and how to use it as a player. So the biggest thing is how do we go out as players to golf greens we've never seen before and accurately predict break the, the first time without having to putt a ball. So this is all about picking the right target, predicting the effect of gravity on the ball, basically, um, ultimately across any surface. Today we're going to do basically 20 feet around the hole, uh, single breaking. If we have time, we'll get into multiple breaking putts and things yep. like that. Um, but we're going to take you through just step by step so that by the end of this you'll understand how to exactly what the process is to figure out to, how to determine break direction and, and how much it breaks, exactly where to target your, your putt. Okay. Uh, ask a lot of questions. We're yep. going to uh, we're going to be putting a lot. We're going to be asking you a lot of questions. We're not just going to tell you the answer to a lot of things. We're going to make you kind of figure some stuff out. Um, so anything at all that comes to mind, just throw it out there, and we'll talk about it. The more you guys interact, the the more we're all going to get out of it. So don't hesitate to, to just ask anything at all that comes to mind. All right. Okay. Well, no, no questions are dumb questions. Okay. If you've got a question and you think it might be silly, there's a good chance somebody else will be thinking it also. All right, so I'm going to show you the chart, and then I'm going to put it away. Here's what the chart looks like. Mm -hmm. So this is our aim chart, and the one you're getting has 7 through to 12 stimp. Okay, so I'm going to put that away now, because that normally scares people off. Does that look scary? Looks like it might take a while, take some figuring out. Well, the clinic is designed that in about an hour and a half's time, we're going to give you the chart, 
and you'll be able to give us the numbers we need. And it takes 15 to 20 seconds. Over 20 seconds is, is too long. Okay, you get a minute as a player to read a putt. If it's longer than 20 seconds of aim point, you're taking too long. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to move over to this area here and we're going to do a little demonstration. And we're going to start understanding break. So the first part of this session is understanding what makes the ball move. So you can be my volunteer. Hi, I'm Bernie Nager and I'm here with Mark Sweeney from Aimpoint Technologies and we're going to show you how putts behave on the zero line. We've got some great examples of mid and long range putts, give you a better idea how to make putts when you're on the zero line. Here are some examples of putts being played on the zero line. As you watch the ball roll, you'll see it's a fairly straightforward putt towards the hole. But if you look a little closer from long range, you're going to see the ball double breaking. Even though it's double breaking, it's important to aim straight at the hole if you're on the zero line. Take a look at this 80 footer coming up. Watch how the ball starts off here, breaking left to right, and watch how it curves back to the hole. If you know where the zero line is, you have a huge advantage when you play. Hopefully you can see that most of the putts on the zero line are not straight rolling putts, but they're straight aim. They're actually double breaks where the two breaks cancel each other. So remember, if you want to make more putts off the zero line, be sure to attend an aim point clinic with a certified instructor in your area. And you'll be on your way to making more putts. Hi, this is Bernie Nager. I'm here with Mark Sweeney from Aimpoint Technologies and we're going to talk about how to start your ball on the proper line and give you the relationship of your starting line relative to the apex of the putt to help you make more putts. Mark, take us through some key points on that and we'll go ahead and demonstrate a putt following those key points to help you score better on the golf course. Sure, what we want to understand is putt geometry. In other words, what does a putt look like? And what most people think is that the apex is the high point of the putt and that's where they're supposed to aim their ball and hit their ball. And what we'll show very clearly right now is that's incorrect. So the aim line and the aim point is actually roughly twice as high as the apex. So if you're aligning to the apex, you're going to have to push or pull your putt to get it online. So what we want to teach you is where the true aim line is so that you can start your ball at the correct place, aim it at the correct place and start it there, and then let it naturally roll over the apex on the way to the hole. That's great. Let's go ahead and show them where the apex is as well as the start line. Here's a great illustration of how a putt would roll out to the hole and it's going to help you understand the apex of the putt as well as the total break amount you should be playing to make this putt. To help you see that, take a look at these graphics here. You're going to see the blue line represents the aim point that we would recommend you start the ball on. The red box is representing the apex of the putt. And the apex, again, is where you start to see the maximum curve on a putt. However, that point, if you're aiming to it, is definitely not enough break to make the putt. So, when you look at how this putt would go into the hole, take a look at this example of Mark putting the same putt. He's aiming, again, down the blue line. The ball is going to start off on that line and curve through the box you see there that represents the apex of the putt. Now when you see him make this stroke here, he's committed to starting the ball down the blue line at the proper speed to make the ball roll the distance to the hole. Now if you look at this same putt, when it's played at the proper speed but aimed at the apex, you're going to see the putt here is going to miss considerably on the low side. So in summary, what you need to keep in mind is that to become more successful putting, it's very important that you understand where this curve is is not where you should start the ball. You need to start the ball to the right of that on your right to left putts and certainly to the left of that on your left to right putts. That point we refer to as the aim point. And with aim point technology we're going to teach you how to calculate the precise amount of break to make you a much better putter. So in summary, if you want to learn more about Aimpoint technology, be sure to visit the website aimpointgolf.com. And to learn more about Aimpoint technology from a certified instructor, go to the website, check out when the clinics are going to be in your area, and we'll help you improve your golf game. I'm Bernie Najar with Mark Sweeney here, and we'll look forward to seeing you at an Aimpoint event in the future. Yeah.